Governor Ducey saying testing is key to reopening our state, but some just aren't willing to wait, openly defying his stay at home order and opening for business today. Adam Waltz takes a closer look at the relatively new group leading the resistance. Risk it or lose it all. That's the mindset of local business owners. For us to be able to survive and other small businesses to survive, we have to do what we can. A local business owner who asked to remain anonymous, describing what it's like to watch their small business fight to stay open during the COVID-19 pandemic. It's a catch-22. If you don't do takeout or don't do enough business as takeout, you're going to wind up closing anyway. We risk losing our business either way. Governor Doug Ducey drawing a clear line in the sand for restaurants and bars considering opening their seating areas. This is an order that is enforceable by law. Uh, a violation is a $2,500 fine and up to six months in jail. And for those that own an establishment and are publicly going to flaunt the order, you are playing with your liquor license. Don't do that. Urging small businesses to open in spite of the governor's threat, a newly formed group called Great 48. Our base assumption is that, you know, there's some civil and constitutional rights that are being infringed upon. Great 48 founder Jeremy Wood, who was hosting a barbecue for those small business owners, believes the government is violating their Fifth Amendment rights, and he says closing businesses falls under that amendment. We feel like someone being able to provide for their family is part of that right. Shortly after this interview, multiple people making a statement by tearing caution tape off playground equipment and tables, one of whom wearing a great 48 shirt, however, wouldn't answer our questions. Do you mind telling us what your motivation is behind taking down the, the caution tape? Great 48 is hosting a peaceful rally Sunday at noon at the Arizona Capitol building, demanding Governor Ducey reopen the economy. We believe the more effective path is going to be to mobilize, you know, a lot of people and get our voices heard and um, we don't plan on stopping here. Adam Waltz, ABC 15, Arizona.